myself right now to meet Alice. I'm still in Haiti and Haiti's in me. Each day reveals something worse than the day before and I'm overloaded. I only know I've been buried where Next stop, Haiti. It's nice to be doing something for someone who does so much for other people. That's why I'm doing this, I realize. I don't feel no for children with limbs hanging off their bodies and babies with worms and maggots crawling out of their ears and mouths. I've sat with 14-year-old girls who've been raped from lack of electricity in their camps and orphans eating dirt. There are so many beautiful things here that balance the nightmare and the resilience and deeply rooted faith of the Haitian people is like none I've ever seen before. The night covers the pain and the dirtiness of the day, and for a while everything seems okay. The Haitians jump up and down and sing to God with open hearts and huge grins. Back home, people complain a lot about trivial things. I've learned to be quiet on issues that really aren't that important. I know the Americans can't stay and hold their hand forever. But maybe they can for a few more sunsets. You asking, 